Hey everybody, I want to take a closer look at the resistance release of BB-8 and show it off a little bit more. Kind of like uh, like I did with Bucket the other day. Okay, uh, like I said, he's from the resistance release. And, okay, here's your standard 3.75 action figure release. One of them, right? I've got this one. His head bobbles around. As well as moves like that and turns right and if you'll notice the way he is forward facing I guess that's his forward facing okay now I don't know does he have a corresponding yeah I think that's as close as we're gonna get but it's like that <clears throat> so as far as I know that's this forward facing position right and okay well that's the way his head does and you see one antenna tilted right he's a lot smaller than the action figure release over here but he's nicely detailed i gotta give it to him they did a very good job on the details also i'm trying to remind myself to use my tripod i have two of them i should be using them bba degrees all the BB-8s agree, even him. <laughs> okay, also, okay, well, I wanted to just compare, do a comparison. Let's see if we can match up the different sides of BB-8. Okay, there's one. Does it match up with the next one? <laughs> the angles are all different. Let's see. Yeah, the angles are different. I love these little details. Okay. The angles are way different. Yeah, he's the Force Link one. Okay. So, yeah, the angles are all different. <laughs> and notice how the, where the head is. The head on here is on one of the orange things, but on here it's just crossing two of them. Okay, he, his head does not bobble around right his head only goes around like that and turns so it doesn't bobble like like this one does like like have a ball joint in the top this is no ball joint in the top and i also wanted to compare it to this guy he doesn't slide around at all he just turns around but he's a just as good a toy and he's as large as the regular action figure Let's compare. Let's look again. Let's see how how different they are this way. Okay. I love doing these little tiny little comparisons. Oh, way different angle. Yeah. Opposite, opposite. Oh, and he just has the... Uh, he has a playset. All of wherever BB-8 goes, he fits. There, There's a little thing that... It, kind of plugs onto and yeah that is bb8 here and he doesn't have any extendable anything he does have the little little eye on there but it's nowhere near as protruded as either one of these guys it's a little tiny little thing and there at notice no ring around it I have another one of these that has a ring around it and one that's just a black cone. The Galactic Heroes one. And yeah, I just wanted to bring BB-8 in a little bit more. Not a whole lot to say here. He has a tiny little flat spot down here. You can barely see it. It's more of a contour than a, than a chop cut. Like, yeah, well, that one's very contoured. More like a contour too. Okay. The one that's not is are all the Galactic Heroes figures of BB-8. And yeah, he's very glossy compared to any of the BB-8s I have. And let's see, is he in, are his spots in scale? Not really. That's okay. That is quite all right by me. So what did we decide is there it is okay so 
yeah he can slide around all over like that but just a little bit alrighty then well that's pretty much all there is for this BB-8 you see he's smaller than the other figures like all the other figures but he's still good and he's mostly proportioned now if you look see the way the head is tucked up against the the body and not hovering above it like the other guy now there's some time lord technology there we go time lord technology now the resistance bb-8 is bigger but now he's smaller and now he's a lot smaller <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm goofy right off the word that's time lord technology look it up look it up it's time lord technology thanks out of here bye-bye